welcome to Geeks Assembled and today I'll be talking about a certain album by this particular gentleman behind me here Mr David Bowie um, his music means a lot to me um, he's been with me most of my life um, and um, I've taken a year now to um, talk about this album it's uh, an album close to my heart, so I think it's close to a lot of people's hearts. I will be discussing Black Star, which um, was his 25th and final studio album, released on the 8th of January, which was his 69th birthday, and of course, two days later, we lost him to cancer. Um, it reached number one in 24 different countries, has gone platinum, won various awards. Um, and just recently five Grammy Awards as well so you know I just wish he was still around to see how successful this album has been um, so what do I think of this jazz drum and bass infused album by uh, Mr Bowie so um, let's have a look at the track shall we um, I've got the tracks written down here because if you look you can't see them on the back very good design but they're there look oh, there we go look I've got me down here so I don't get lost. Uh, track number one was Black Star, um, the first single released off the album, and at ten minutes long, it's just an, for me personally, it's an epic dreamlike journey. This song, it, it's just wonderfully put together. Um, you know, it, it, and halfway through the song, it sort of changes, and you know, something happened on the day he died. Um, these songs on this album are written emotionally and from the heart from David Bowie at, at the time because he wasn't, he, you know, he was ill at the time when he was recording this. So, but Black Star, very good opener for the album. Um, track two, Tis a Pity She Was a Whore, just that brilliant title, um, was originally a B side to uh, a song called Sue. 2014 but it's really recorded for the Black Star album um, the saxophone on this is just brilliantly played um, and the drum and bass works so well with the wild playing of the saxophone, I just love it um, track 3 me personally one of my favourites on the album is Lazarus and this was the second single off the album um, um, it's a very poignant song now um, now if you see the video that goes to the song uh, with you know David laid in the bed um, with that, that dark figure underneath the bed and it's um, very uh, poignant um, you know the lyrics look up here I'm in heaven I've got scars that can't be seen you know just like that blue bed I'll be free um, written from the heart at the time of his um, illness but uh, yeah, it's one of my favourite tracks, and I always play it a, a hell of a lot, Lazarus, I really do. Um, track 4, now this is the one that was mentioned just earlier, uh, Sue, bracket, open brackets, or in a season of crown, closed brackets. Um, originally it's a, a, a 2014 single off the Nothing Has Changed Best Of album, re-recorded for the Black Star album. Um, I just don't understand me personally I don't understand why this was included on this album was, um, I didn't like the song back in 2014 and I still don't like the song now uh, some of you guys may love the song but for me it just doesn't do anything for me so I usually skip this one to be honest it's just, the song's just not for me it, uh, it's one of those you get one of those songs on any album so that was this is the one um, track 5 Girl Loves Me what a wonderful song! Um, he he uses, you know, Bowie uses the um, Polari and the uh, Natsat language in this song. Brilliant, and with the repetitive uh, lyrics of "Where the fuck did Monday go with Girl Loves Me?" It's it's a that that track is a winner all the time for me. I love it. Um, track six, Dollar Days such lovely lyrics in this one you know if I never see the English evergreens I'm running to just just uh, uh, if you get if you just listen to one song off this album listen to Dollar Days because it's, it's just an awesome song and 
and the saxophone is just wonderfully played in on, on this track. Um, so we'll come to the last track, um, which is the third single, uh, I Can't Give Everything Away. Um, this is, um, I mean, the opening line, I know there's some, there's something is very wrong. Um, as I said before, this was mostly written, you know, from the heart with his, with his illness. Um, he knew, he, he knew he didn't have much time, I don't think. Um, uh, and the saxophone in this as well. It, it's a saxophone led album, this, and the saxophone's played so brilliantly in this. And you've got a harmonica piece in this as well, which for me personally is very reminiscent of the Low album back in the 1970s, you know, and that was all harmonica and stuff. Um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, seeing see more and feeling less. It's, you know, that was the last track of that, you know, I can't give everything away. Um, he, say, he may be gone, his music still lives on. Um, we've got we've got the memories of that. So to score this album, so I usually do it with how many tracks there are and how many tracks I like. So the seven tracks, because of the Sue thing, we may be tracked for. I'll take one away. So this gets a six out of seven from me. Um, yeah, it's it's a very very good album. Um, so if just give it give it a chance, give it a listen if anything um, so I hope you like the video please leave comments below check out our Twitter feed check out our Tumblr check check out our, um, our we've got a public Facebook group you know Geeks Assemble so until next time keep the music real and to you Mr Bowie I thank you for all the music and I listen to them every day